Hello everyone, it's Linda at the Upper Saddle River Library. For the winter take and make adult crafts, we're gonna give you instructions and six templates of scrap paper so you can make these 3D paper snowflakes. I made a few here, both using our template and then I'll tell you how you can easily do it with paper that you have at home. So let me show you what you're going to be getting with your kits. You'll have six templates printed on scrapbook paper. And what you're going to do is, first step is to cut along the outer line of the template. Okay, our next step is you're gonna now fold this over and fold back down. So your template arrows are now facing the bottom right corner. At this point, you're gonna take this bottom left edge and fold it up to the top. So now you can see you have lines coming out of this bottom fold on both sides. So simply cut the lines. And really the template is just to guide you to make straight lines and make sure that you don't cut all the way through. You wanna leave a little bit of an edge there. So now when we open up a piece of paper, You can see how it's all cut through. So first step now will be to take the inside two lines, fold your paper over, and you're gonna wanna just tape it down. You have the two points meet, a little bit of tape, just to secure it. And this is gonna be most like a tube, this inner one. Now you flip your template over and you take the next two pieces of paper and you have these two points meet. And same thing, you're going to wanna to tape these two down. And you continue this process. Let me get my tape there. Can't rush these things. You're gonna continue this process I personally like to cut up my tape just a little bit, but you're gonna keep flipping over the template and having the two points of paper, the next two points of paper meet each other and tape it. And again, flip over, have the two points meet and tape it down. And here we're just gonna do the last one. Okay, so now this is going to be one point of your star, or your snowflake, I should say. So you're gonna repeat this for the other five templates. For this, I've already done all six, the other five, and now this is the sixth. Once you've completed all six, you're going to gather three of your, let's put them together, make sure I like the order, you can tatter three points and bring them together at the bottom. So you see that? All three points are at the bottom. You take a staple, stapler and staple them together. I'm just gonna staple it one more time, just to make sure I got it. And do the same for the other three pieces. So now you have two three-point pieces. We're gonna take these, put them together, and now we're going to staple both sides together. And here, 
you have your snowflake. Now for a lot of these, just to really make it stay together, I actually take, you see these different arms and points? You can staple these together as well, or if you have a glue dot, you think a glue dot would work, you could do that. But this is just gonna help keep the shape of the snowflake together. Now, as I was saying, if you can see, there's template on this particular scrapbook paper, the paper that we're giving to you. And the scrapbook paper is a little thicker and a little heavier than regular paper. You can, with this same idea, continue with just some plain paper that I've done here. And the trick really is when you fold it, you wanna make sure you have a nice even spacing of your lines. And like I said, you don't wanna cut all the way through and then you can keep creating and make as many snowflakes as you want. You can either hang these snowflakes up, set them out for a decoration, or do whatever it is that you wanna do to make you think of snow. I hope you enjoy the kits, and they'll be in the lobby of the Upper Saddle River Library. See you soon.